what's up guys, CJR here. This will be the first video of a series of two of my uh, gaming PC build. Uh, basically what I had to do is I live streamed the whole process on Twitch. Um, the only way that I could put it up um, edited onto YouTube was to um, download uh, from Twitch uh, to the desktop and then upload, uh, splice all the pieces together. It was a long process. Um, there's some audio glitching from the transfer over, so you'll hear the odd little audio glitch. Uh, so I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, in this video we go through the, uh, we open up the case, we put in the motherboard, uh, the GPU, uh, the cooling system. Uh, in part two, we'll be adding the uh, graphics card and all the rest of the stuff, and then I'll give you guys a overview of the uh, gaming PC itself. If you haven't seen the um, original uh, parts video where I go through all the components that I'm using in the uh, in this gaming PC build, you can find that here up in the cards. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy this video. It's a little rough in some points, so I apologize for that. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like button. Hey, what's up guys? CJR here today with my buddy Scott. How's it going? Uh, Scott's come down to help me with this PC gaming build. I've never done it before, uh, so it'll be nice having him here. We're also live streaming on Twitch right now and getting lots of help from the people in the chat here and tips. So, um, yeah, I'll probably split this up into two parts here. Um, yeah, I think we're all set up. We've got our anti-static stuff here to be safe. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. Cool. Okay. So let's, let's okay. see so, this guy. I think, like I'd like to do as much as I can, just yeah. so I can teach myself. Yeah, that, that, well, that, that was my plan. Yeah. I was going to let you build probably most of it and yeah. just kind of guide you through it. So I think I know, like we probably get this all taken apart, ready to put stuff in, yep. and then probably motherboard, uh, mm -hmm. and then we'll put CPU on first, right? Yeah. And then probably should do the, the memory, the ra or the RAM. Um, or do you wait till you? I usually wait till the last because it's super easy to put in. Okay. Yeah. And then it's not preventing you from doing anything else. Okay. So we're gonna do the motherboard, the chip, the uh, mm -hmm. processor, and then we put like the post on for mounting into here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now. I'm surprised you could wait this long. I wouldn't have been able to wait this long. Yeah. <laughs> well, it wasn't that bad because I know I had to wait for the yeah. card. But yeah, I. If, if you couldn't make it this weekend, <laughs> I probably would have attempted to do it myself. I don't blame you. <laughs> I think that is perfect, and then maybe we can even just yeah. slide this back a bit, and then we should be good for most of the build like that, Yeah. camera-wise. Yeah, so, um, see, there's already one post here, so when you slide the motherboard yeah. in, it, it should kind of just sit on there until you get the other ones. Yeah. In. And I remember all the videos I watched, they said, don't forget the the shielding plate, right? No. <laughs> okay. So, um, when I, when I open this, it's in the anti-static bag. Yeah. So, should I put this one on over here? Uh, yeah. So, you're going to be touching it. So we're being extra cautious here. I mean, I, probably a lot of people don't even bother with this, but I don't really want to mess that. <laughs> that. Okay. Okay. So I'm taking it out of the bag, mm -hmm. and then uh, should I just should I close the box and put it on top of that? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, this motherboard has uh, that plug thing, I forget what they call it. But you plug them all into there and then it's just one connection to the oh, door. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh my god. So it makes That's like it the hardest part. Yeah, it makes it super easy, apparently. <laughs> it's for all the like, PC, or the, not the PC, the, the case parts and stuff like that. Yeah, so. It's amazing. Yeah, and the power supply is modular, so I guess that just means we just Yep. Use only the ones we need, right? Put the ones we want. Okay. Um, do you want to put that plate on? Okay. I'm, so, I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> It'll all be fine. Do they, 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 uh, you bought, you bought everything from Canada Computers? Pretty much. Pretty much. 
Yeah. Did they have you look at the pins on the motherboard? I'm okay to just set it on here. Yeah. Right here. Uh, no, I, I got it in the mail. So. Oh, okay. Why is that something you should just kind of go over when you get it? Yeah, they always when you whenever you buy it from the store, they always uh, do a pin check with you, so they take off the little plastic thing there and check the pins because the pins are on the motherboard. Okay. To make sure none of them are bent or anything like that. Okay, so next uh, I'll get the CPU ready, right? Well, we're gonna put this guy in first. You wanna put it in yep. first before we even put this in? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Let's see. Where is this? That's gonna go in. Yes, so it'll stand. This is the bottom here. So essentially, that's yeah. going to be in here like this. And this guy just pops in. The one thing they said about this motherboard is the is it IO shield. Is that right? Yeah. That's like really cheap. Yeah, they usually are. Okay. Just get this guy here. I ordered some more fans, but uh, they didn't make it on time. I ordered some okay. white LED fans. Fun. Um, so I'm guessing I just kind of slide. Pretty much. Now, the, what you're trying to do here is you're trying to line up. The IO shield makes everything a little bit of a pain in the butt. So you have to kind of line up all of this stuff on the IO shield, and eventually it'll just kind of push in. And if it's not going in, feel free to take it out and start bending some of those. You're almost pretty good on over here. Looks good here too. Yeah, I think I got lucky. I'm You're on. right on. There's a pole. Oh, there you go. Okay. okay, we're good. There you go. Probably a little more cautious than I needed to be. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Better to be too cautious than not cautious enough because stuff's expensive. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so first things first, I just put the motherboard in here. It was a little bit of a struggle to uh, get it in there with the IO shield, but uh, I got it in, not too bad. Uh, it took about 30 seconds and we're off. Now I noticed the, from what I saw, the graphics card I have mm -hmm. actually has connections for fans built right in into it. So I guess then that means the graphics card can di dictate when and how powerful to turn the fans on? Yeah, I think the, the new cards, they only turn the fans on when they need to. Now, is that something that you think we should do, or should we let the motherboard take care of that? Um, probably let, I would just let the card do whatever it's going to do, because from what I've seen... The graphics card? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so we're just going to fasten the motherboard to the case. Um, from what Scott tells me, to uh, tighten them, but not super tight, just so it's snug. Some of these are a little bit tricky. Um, is that it? I think so. I think that was the last one that you had to do. Okay, motherboard is secure. Yeah, Asus has a tool that comes yeah. with software on it yeah. that has... It's, it's number two of whatever that's yeah. called. And uh, literally, I think it's just like you you select uh, game mode and then that's it. Yep, you select game mode because I, I, I have an Asus card as well. And I use that same program. Okay. And if you really if you really want to get into it, then it's, you know, you, you start tweaking stuff. Because overclocking can be, if you actually want to get, like, the most out of it. Yeah ends up being like a two or three day thing. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well you while well, you're constantly failing with like yeah, power, yeah. output and voltage and heat. You're, you're you're tweaking it a little bit and then you're letting it running a test for a few hours. Yeah. Yeah, I know you can get more out of it than the gaming mode, but uh I don't really want to yeah, now now's the part where we probably want to put in the, the CPU. Okay. Yeah. I'm not like super worried about like how Clean the wires up in there. Oh, it's always been a struggle of mine. It's actually nice with this one because it's all you can stick all the ugly stuff on through the other side. So it's I made the video and of course I got so many like oh you should have gone with this and I'm like oh, damn I should have gone with that. But actually most people um, were saying that I, I think I, I was okay on most. Of them. Oh yeah, I the processor is. It's some, definitely something you don't want to skimp out on, but yeah. i7s for gaming are. I think it's pretty standard for yeah. what I've what learned. really the reason why you'd want an i7 is 
for rendering your videos. If, yeah. If you do it on this opposed to the Mac or something. Yeah. That's really what it's going to be better for. Okay, so. I have an i7 in mind too, though. So. I think this is pretty straightforward, right? Yep. Um, now, the question I have is. Yep. So. The um, thermal paste should already be applied on the cooler. Yes. Okay. There should be like a dab, and then we won't have to worry about that. Yeah. So, with this guy, before you take it out, there's going to be a, a triangle yes. right there. And that and correlates to that corner right there. Yeah, okay, there's the triangle. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to lift this arm. Yep. Um, and then it's going to lift up. I slide this in. And when I put it back down, this plastic piece pops out. Yep. Okay. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I do a. Uh, whenever I do something like this, I do like I do a ton of research. Oh, yeah. It's not something. Before I buy anything, like I make sure I know somewhat what I'm talking about. Okay, so when I open this, I just kind of grab it from the sides. Yeah, I would probably open up that guy first. Okay, open, yeah, that makes sense. And then we can just at least check the pins to make sure. So we're gonna okay. push that arm down. Okay. And slide it towards you. Yep. There you go. Okay. So literally we're just looking for anything that's bent. It looks good, right? Yeah, it looks good to me. Okay. So that triangle was in, it's also printed on the motherboard as well, that big white triangle in the corner. I'm abandoning the YouTube video. <laughs> it's too hard. It's too hard. I can't. <laughs> I'll just upload this whole thing to YouTube. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to pop this open. Okay. Triangles that way. Yeah, so I'll grab like here. that. Good to me. Okay, now you use the arm to close it? Yep. Okay. It's, you're gonna have to probably put a, so you wanna um, put those two little metal Under things the screw. The screw there. Like that? Yep. And it should slide. Yep. And it's, oh, okay. yeah. it's gonna pop? Yep. Okay. That crunch made me a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good? Cool. Looks good. Snug there? Yep. Good. Okay. All right. Uh, CPU is in. There you go. <laughs> okay. Those are secure. Shields on. Let me think here what is probably going to be next. Um, most people at this point, I think, would put the RAM in. Or no. You do, you wait till like very last. I wait till the end. Uh, um, with the RAM, I just go the two gray slots. I mean, we'll get yeah. to this later, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so um, what do you want to do? Heats. The... Probably this guy. Okay. So what I was gonna do, I was gonna tell you with the, I, yeah. I ordered two more. Um, I ordered white LED fans, mm -hmm. and then I was gonna do the push pull. Yeah. So for now, I guess we should just do pull. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we'll have the fans at the top of the case here mm -hmm. pulling the air through the radiator, yeah. cooling it. And then eventually, if I wanted to, I could just screw it. Add, well, I could just add those. Just add That's what I want to do anyways, because I want the LED, LEDs to shine down oh, okay. on yeah. the thing. I, I think I, I know I'm gonna get some light from the graphics card, yep. and I thought a little bit of light from some fans might be kind of mm -hmm. cool, but uh, I don't think I'm really gonna need those fans. I think they would just be there as like as bonus bonus fans. Like I really think it's gonna be pretty darn cool. Yeah. Like we we got two fans here. Let's yeah. See if, you guys can see that. We got two fans right here, um, sucking air into the case. And then this one here is exhausting the hot air out. Yep. And then we'll have the two up here that are pulling air through the, uh, the radiator here, so. Um, you probably want to put the two fans on the top pushing it out because then it's gonna be pulling all the hot air into the case. Oh, sorry, pushing. Yeah. Pushing, but I got, okay. But, so what, it's technically pulling the air. Out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But you would you would say that's pushing? Yeah. Yeah. Like if it's. I guess it depends on. I guess if it's going if it's going out, it's yeah. pushing. If it's going into the case, it's pulling. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> we'll say that. They'll correct us in the comments if we're wrong. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Um, let's move yeah. it this way slightly. And try and get them a better angle here. Okay. So what do you want to do next then? Power supply, heat sink, you said we should go with that or? Power supply's gonna go on the other side? Yeah. Mm. Like, I don't know, do we do everything on this yeah, side first? Yeah, that's probably a better idea. We'll do everything on this side, then we'll put the power supply on the other side. At this point, it's really just whatever you want to do. Yeah, it doesn't matter too it much. It doesn't matter too much. I'm just thinking of space, like working space, because if we do the, the cooler, yeah. Then that takes up all this, and then we still have all this space here, whereas if we put the graphics card in now, then we're kind of limited more towards... Yeah, we don't want to bump that graphics card. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, we're going with the Corsair H150. Um, I mean, it should be more than enough. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh... Scalpel. <laughs> scalpel. <laughs> Surgery. I got this kit from uh, AliExpress of like all these tools for opening wow. stuff. I mainly cool. bought it for uh, replacing screens on, oh, yeah. on handhelds mm -hmm. that popped it off. And it's clever. It comes in handy though. Yeah, it should be okay for this. Try and do this unboxing for you guys here. Ooh, it's super exciting. I won't lick it. <laughs> I won't lick it. You ever watch uh, Talk of the Show back in the day? Yeah. Yeah, I remember Olivia Munn used to lick it. Right oh, yes. <laughs> I yeah. miss that show. It's. Just, I just recently, I figured out that um, they do something very similar to it on Twitch. I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah Kevin just, Ferreira. Yeah. I, I watched just, the stream and I remember I'm like, oh, this is where you went. And he yeah. read my comment. He's like, yep, this is where I've been. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's similar. I mean, they do what they yeah. can on a Twitch stream. But I used to love the fact of the show. Oh, yeah. I thought Olivia Munn was great on it. I liked when uh, Candace Bailey came in. Yeah. I had a huge crush on her. And Sarah Underwood, remember she was yeah. on The Real Hot Blonde? Yeah, and that was a good show. I liked it. I liked it. I don't, like, I don't know really if it's sad. considered like a great show by everyone else, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. I mean, there's not really much on. It's crazy. Like, uh, Electric Playground yeah. is gone. Oh, yeah? It's done? Done. Like, I think he's trying to get back on TV. Uh, Electric Playground is a video game show here in Canada. It is um, shown in the States and some places too. But um, they're not on TV anymore. Really? And there, there's no video game show, show on anymore. television. There's one on Disney called uh, uh, Gaming Show in My Parents' Garage. Which it's okay, but how? Like it's crazy. And you know, Victor Lucas, the guy that makes mm -hmm. Electric Playground, he said like how in, in a world where there's multiple cooking channels yeah. networks uh multiple was, i think there's two golf channels how is there no space for yeah. a video game channel it's crazy it's sad like yeah, it is, I, I, like, I love having those shows throwing them on and just seeing what they talk about yeah it's like even ep what well, no um what was it x play x play you know, I, adam one, yeah. sussler i thought he was great Martin yeah was really not so much but yeah. so I'm guessing we should install yep. this, right? Yep. This is the mounting plate for the cooling for the cooling CPU. Block, yeah. So that's going to be a two-sided job. Yeah. So we should turn uh, turn it this way. Yep. Flip her up. Yeah. I I, I assume. Well, I'm going to have to I guess leave it this way. But you can do both. Eh? Like you can have it. You can have it. Uh, down, I guess it would be on this side, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can have it down this way, on your on your desk, or yeah. this way. Hmm. And I think I'll, I'll I would put it this way. Do it that way. Okay, so I'm gonna slide this back, and pop off that, so we can install the radiator. It looks like the first. Not so tall. And so thumb screws. So yeah, the back goes on first. It looks like, and then. Though the posts go on the other side. Okay. So, so the posts screw into those. Okay. Now this is going to sit on here, right? No, nope. it sits on this side. This is the part that sits on the front. Oh, gotcha. and then Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so this is going to come through the posts on the back, right? Yep. Um, so then I'm screwing... Uh, these through like this? Yes. 
Okay. So it looks like, let me see. I think it's actually these ones. Just like these ones. Puzzle for techie adults. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So we're going with those guys. Okay. I will hold this. to stop it from moving back though. Let's see. There's quite a bit of movement. It's gonna have a little bit of wiggle room probably until we put everything together. Okay. Probably probably the mounting stuff we end up using for this one pushes it back out a little bit more and that's why we have the two different size screws. Okay. This side here, because most of the hose you can kind of run here, right? Yeah. Um, I would think. Yeah, I'm not too anal with how it looks, but I think that would be. Okay, what are we looking for? Screws for mounting the yeah. fans? So those are going in from the top. The small ones in the top, and then the long ones go into the fans. Okay. And the washers are for between the screws in the case, so you don't scratch a case. Yeah, I build computers for like people at work and stuff oh, yeah. in London. And I definitely don't get to do cool stuff like this. Yeah. It's uh stuff for running word and Oh yeah. <laughs> oh I want email and Facebook games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the questions I asked. Do you do any gaming? Well I play Facebook games. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna need a uh, ten eighty yeah, for 1080 and, uh, Candy Crush. Yeah, a lot of custom water cooler for you. <laughs> so
The only thing like I hate about computers. Yeah. You know, like you, you, something always goes wrong. Huh. Like I, I'd be surprised if this went one hundred percent smooth. As would I. <laughs> There's always something. And usually it's like, you know, software. It's, like when you're, you know, like I'm, I'm afraid when we boot it up, something won't load or. That's the most nerve wracking part of the whole thing. First boot Hitting up. that button. Hit that power on. Plug her in and start her up and <laughs> let's see what happens. Yeah, for me, it's the, those little stupid case connectors. Yeah, that's, yeah, when I saw that, I'm like, okay, because that's, that's what uh, made me nervous was connecting all the uh, the power supply to all the parts. Yeah. Like, not, you know, like, screwing that up or not knowing what to do, not knowing what to do there. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the software side, like, yeah. you know, properly loading windows. And well, it's kind of the, the power supply on the cables is kind of nice because everything is a, is a different cable. Yeah. So, yeah, you yeah, almost can't it. screw it up. Okay, so those are in. Show you guys quickly here. Wasn't too exciting, but uh, I've mounted the radiator to the top of the case. So we will be sucking air, no, we'll be blowing air, blowing air out, out through the top and that, uh, and thus cooling the radiator. You actually might even want to pull, this is getting like super, into it but if you get that to pull, pull instead it of in exhaust because then what you're doing is you're creating positive pressure in the case so it's not going to start sucking air in uh, air in through the cracks and bring dust in through the cracks huh. that's a thing like if you want to do that so as these well. would all be sucking air these in sucking and this air. and then be going yeah. at the top of the case yeah that way you have more intake than you have outtake and then it starts the excess air starts blowing out all the little crevices. You don't get dust build up in. Okay, dust. and all that would take is uh, unscrewing the fan and flipping it around. And going this way, right? Uh, do you want to? Should, I guess we should do that quick, or yeah, know, quickly get it off. Yeah. Yeah. See if anybody's going. No, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Like, I don't think we have to worry too, like, I, I think it's going to be pretty cool. You could just have the front two as the ride. tuck it into that, those things and then have it pop out whenever it needs to. So that'll be fine. These bottom two fans, right? Yep. Yeah, people were asking what the first game I'm going to play is. <laughs> That's the first game. Um, I was saying probably Doom. Doom? I think that'd be a good way to start because I can just hop in for 10 minutes and try it out. Yeah. Uh, but I, 
I sold like I had Doom on the PS4, but yeah. I sold it. And same thing with uh, the Division. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm going to restart playing that. I was so excited for Division when they started showing it, and then I think it wasn't it supposed to be a PS4 launch title or something like that. It was years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And then it wasn't, and then I just forgot about it, and then it came out, and I thought like that was it. I thought it was good. Like yeah. I, uh, you know, I had like a um, Destiny type feel. Yeah. Uh, it was gorgeous. Yeah. Like man, you go down like a back alley, and just like the, the amount of detail, like. In those neighborhoods, yeah. Hmm. Like that's why I can't wait to play it on PC because I'm a major graphics for it. So. Mm -hmm. It was def probably the best looking game I've ever played. Yeah, I play a lot of Overwatch right now. Yeah, what do you play on? Um, I'm usually Mercy, but like a, a oh, PS4 yeah, yeah. Or PC. PC. Now, do you yeah. use keyboard and mouse or yeah. a controller? Keyboard and mouse. Because I've heard that it's actually a lot of people play it with controller. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Like for a PC shooter, people were using controllers. That's what I did. Hmm. Um, I need to teach myself how to use that because I'm clueless with the keyboard and mouse. It's it's a learning curve. Oh yeah. It's. Uh, I want to play Counter Strike Go. Oh God. So <laughs> I want to at least try it. Fun. <laughs> I thought it would be fun to do a stream of playing Counter Strike Go for a noob time. with yeah. barely even knowing the button. Half the reason why I got that chroma thing is so I could light up which keys to push. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So I don't miss the like the wazda, you know. Yeah, like, I am. Um, that was, I think that was my first game that I, one of my first shoes that I played when I built my computer years and years and years ago, and it was, uh, it was fun. It's like super like Twitch, right? Yeah. Like you gotta have fast reflux. Yeah. I'm, I'm convinced that some people on the other side aren't actual people. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. They're just too damn just, good. They're, they're too good. Well, I watch, uh, I don't watch a whole lot of Twitch, but I watch a guy, oh god, what's his name? Tim the Tatman, you ever seen him? Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, and he plays a lot of Counter Strike. And just the stuff that they pull off, like the headshots, yeah. like just peeking around a corner and firing, like how the hell do you do that? Yeah, it's it's insane the, the stuff that they can do. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. There's a lot of PC games like that, like older games, I like just. Yeah, it's underneath the radiator. That's, uh, you have a pair of like, tweezers. I don't know if you can get it. My fingers are too big. After I bought that 1080, I had to go back and make sure that because I had already got the case, yeah, that it was uh, <laughs> wasn't too long. Yeah, in the case. yeah, but I think we're fine. That would be a uh, did you imagine? Uh, unfortunate. Don't <laughs> the whole computer get lost thing in? Oh, oh man, oh. I guess you would have to just take, pull one of the fans one of the and fans one somewhere else, right? Yeah, okay. All yeah. right, the My radiator mind. is in. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this uh, first of two videos. Uh, we were able to open up the case, get in the motherboard, GPU, cooling system. In part two, we'll be installing the graphics card, doing all the wiring, power supply, all that kind of cool stuff. And I'll show you guys an overview of the, uh, I'll show you my setup, my, uh, my gaming PC setup. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Do me a big favor, if you enjoy the video, just hit that like button. And uh, stay tuned for uh, part two, you'll find it up in the cards up here. Thanks for watching.